Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kente Johannes with It's Necessary. I hope that everyone has had an amazing day on purpose. Um, so you guys see I'm sitting here in my car again doing these videos, but to God be the glory anyhow. I'm just so in love with God. I mean, just the different things that he's been showing me every day, um, consecrating myself before him and trying to just do everything right. Um, so anyway, that's not even what I, I, I look, I could have went in on that, but anyways, um, the reason I'm making this video today is because, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about calling children's names. Um, so when I was growing up, I had, um, some cousins I went to school with and, um, in elementary school. And then I had to go back to my house, you know, to hear all the negative um, name calling going back and forth from the MF to the B, the, the A-hole, you know, all this stuff I had to hear and I was called those names. So when I would, you know, leave home, go to school, you know, you hear kids, kids are cruel, you know, and they would say, oh, stupid. And, you know, they would be calling everybody, you know, names or whatever, not all the time, but you know how school is. People would be like, oh, shut up, stupid, so on and so forth, you know. So I heard this at home. I heard this in school. I heard this when we would go to my family members' houses. And it caused me to be a little bit withdrawn because and because of my self-esteem. My self-esteem was just, I, was, I had none. I was broken. And um, the effect that it had on me was feeling like I could never measure up to anyone else. You know, when it came to me um, wanting to, I was very creative, always creative. But when it, I say, for instance, I, there was something I wanted to do, I wouldn't step out on it because I would feel that I wasn't smart enough or I wasn't um, equipped enough to, you know, carry out the task at hand. But I always have had a fear of failing. And I didn't know where that came from. And I was like, what's, what's blocking me from pushing over what I need to actually be doing? And, um, you know, I just kind of started sitting there. I was praying, I was meditating, and I'm like, what is, what is blocking me from pushing over what I need to do? You know, why am I afraid of taking this next, in this next step, you know, for this, um, this new career in my life or um, just this whole new platform that I'm, you know, able to um, be on now? Um, so I'm sitting there and I literally, I started crying and I was like, oh my God, it went back to the name calling, you know? And I was like, man, Kente, all these years you felt that you weren't good enough or you weren't capable or you weren't able because of being called stupid, being called silly, being called you um, dumb A, you know, and stuff like that from parents to aunts. I had one aunt in particular, that lady, she would always just call me stupid or something, something ignorant. But um, those are the reasons. <laughs> so I, like, I'm like, you guys know I'm so random. I try to do these videos and I still get nervous in front of the, um, this camera. But those are the reasons, or those were my blockers. So when the Lord showed me um, what my blockers were, I just began to thank him, you know, and believe his word, what his word said about me. You know, so I was like, anything that was trying to block me, I was like, you know, the Lord said that you are more than a conqueror, so you can conquer this as well. You know, and then I thought of myself as this weak person. I was like, no, I can't be weak. You know, and so it was like the Lord just started, you know, telling me stuff. It was like, you can't, how are you weak when you've made it through all the things that you've made it through? You know, and all these names that they called you, they were trying to stop what I've put in you. They were trying to hinder what I put in you. And it did, it did hinder me, you know, um, I could have been a whole lot more, I could have been a lot more productive, you know, in life, um, which I am now, you know, but it has taken a lot of time to get to where I am and get to, you know, and even still in my process of healing, I want, um, there's just so much more I want. And, um, you know, if you guys have children or nieces or nephews, always talk positive to them. Don't, don't never speak negative to them. You know, never call them stupid, never call them idiot because their brains are sponges. My brain was a sponge. So I soaked up everything negative because I heard that more often, you know, stupid, ugly, you know, be this and that, you know, I heard that more often than what I heard. Oh, you're a beautiful little girl or, um, 
or you're an intelligent little girl or you're so smart, you know, because I made good grades in school. I made excellent grades in school, but I was constantly called stupid at home for, and stupid from my aunts and people that loved, that were supposed to love me. But again, it made me withdrawn. It made myself, I had no, pretty much no self-esteem. Um, and um, yeah, so you guys, please don't call people names. Don't call kids names. Don't to call adults names. You know, just, just stop, <laughs> stop. Because some people don't know what God has said about them. And that's the main thing that uh, we need to stay focused on is what God says about, but, ugh, here I go again. What God says about us is more important than what negative people have to say and um even you know when it comes to your parents god god's word you know overrides all of that stuff so what i i guess what i want to tell you guys today is be encouraged and continue search the word search the scripture and know that everything in there is conducive to what God has put in you and that's the best soil that your seed can ever be planted in so plant yourself in the Word of God and allow him to just wash your mind and wash your heart of all these negative things you know I'm not gonna tell you that it's easy it is a process because like I said you know me doing these videos and then having the book and stuff like that coming out this is totally new for me but I you know I could have done it years ago if I you know would have listened to the Lord and not been afraid of um, failing. So you guys, uh, do what God has called you to do. Don't be afraid to fail. I know it can be a little scary because I'm, I'm in that boat, but um, yeah, don't believe those words and those names that you were called when you were younger, if you were called any names, and then just don't, and don't go and call anybody names, all right? So God bless you, God keep you, God motivates you. And continue, please, to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I hope I made some sense because you guys know I am so random. And um, this is why I needed the Ghost Rider. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys be blessed. Stay blessed. Um, stay hydrated. And until we meet, God keep you. I think I've said all that already. Okay, so, again, it's Kente Johannes. You guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. And I'm out.